All right, so this week I got to share this with you because I just came up with this the other day. I was toying around just experimenting inside Photoshop and actually stumbled upon this and it was actually kind of a useful way of generating a cool design effect using a very simple photo. In this case, I've got this pretty much unexciting photograph of the Golden Gate Bridge. There's nothing really great about it, it's just a simple photo. But I kind of looked past that and thought, wouldn't it be great if we could use this, uh, part of this image as a design element? So I wanted to be able to use the bridge for a kind of a background effect. So what I'm gonna do is, right on this image, I'm gonna go into my select menu, and we're gonna go right down here to color range. So we're gonna select based on a range of color. Since the bridge is red and it's really dominating most of the, the red in this, in, in this image, it's gonna be relatively easy to select that bridge. So with the color range window open, I'm just gonna go in here and click right on that red area of the bridge. And notice what happens in here. This image represents what my selection is going to be. Whatever is white is going to be selected and whatever is black is not going to be selected. And you can modify that with this fuzziness slider right here. You can increase the tolerance basically or decrease it depending on where you put the slider. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at around that setting there. And not only that, you can add areas to it too as well. If you take this plus eyedropper and click in other not so red areas of the bridge, it will, see, it will add it to it as you can see right in there. But I think that looks pretty good so far. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK and you go and see and it goes ahead and generates a selection of that area. It's not perfect, of course. It didn't get a lot of the uh, suspension uh, cables here and stuff like that. That's okay, it's no big deal for what we're uh, trying to achieve here. So now that that selection is generated, I'm gonna press Command or Control J to copy that selected area to its own layer. So if I turn off my background layer, you can see that this is what we've got. Now, I no longer need the background, but I'm not gonna throw it away just yet, but I am gonna go ahead and create a new blank layer just beneath the bridge layer, and let's go ahead and fill it with a color, and we'll just use blue, because it's it always looks good with something. I'm gonna reselect the bridge layer here, and I'm gonna go ahead and remove the color information. I'm just gonna press Shift-Command-U, or you can go into the image menu, down to Adjustments, and choose Desaturate. So it removes that color information. Well, now I'm gonna press Command or Control t to bring up the free transform, and let's just kinda reposition this down here. I'm going to scale it down just a little bit. And let's position it there. Now I want to do a step and repeat action on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, I'm going to press Command T, but I'm also going to add the Option key to it this time, or the Alt key if you're on a PC. So just hold down the Option command, that will be Alt Control, and then press the letter T. Basically it looks like free transform, but now we're set up for a step and repeat. So before I move anything, I'm going to take my center target, or the center axis point, and I'm just going to grab it and move it right about here this upper right hand area of the uh, selected area. And then it's gonna go outside this area and you notice I get the little bent arrows. I'm just going to nudge this around just to about that point there. And I'm gonna press enter. Now I'm gonna hold down those same keys but this time I'm gonna add the shift to it. So we're gonna have shift option command that would be shift alt control. And then I'm gonna press the letter T over and over and over again until we get all the way around the circle here as you can see. And we'll stop right about there. Now, notice what happens in my layers. It generated a layer for each one of the instances or each step and repeat that I did. So we've got 28 versions of that bridge uh, graphic there. Well, I don't need all those layers. So what I'm gonna do is keep that top layer selected. Let's go down here and I'm gonna hold down the shift key and select that layer one and simply go into the flyout menu and choose, where'd it go? Down here, merge layers. So now all those layers are merged onto one single layer. And the areas we can't see outside the border, there they are, looking pretty good. So, it's coming together as a pretty cool design element. Now I'm gonna bring up my levels just to increase the contrast of this graphic a little bit. I'm gonna press Command or Control L, or you can go into the image menu, to adjustments, and go to levels. So let's push the dark in and bring the, high, the white slider in just a little bit, just to increase that contrast. And we'll click OK. And now to blend it with my background, I'm just going to change its, the layer's blend mode to overlay. You'll notice what happens is it gives me kind of a cool, interesting result. So we've generated a, a really interesting geometric shape from that photo. It was just a really simple, boring element from that photo, but we've taken it and making it a little bit more interesting as a background graphic element. So uh, it's really big, obviously, so we can move it around our document depending on what kind of composition we want to generate. So I'm just gonna, for design's sake, gonna put it right about there. And I'm gonna add a couple of things to it. I'm gonna go ahead and add a layer style to this. Let's go into the layer style menu here. And let's do an outer glow. 
And I'm going to change the color of that outer glow to white. And let's change the blend mode to overlay. And let's increase that size a little bit so you can see it's kind of giving me a unique kind of glowing effect there. Perhaps I'm going to drop that opacity to about 50 so it's not so overpowering. But it's there just enough so you can see it. Well, almost there. I'm going to do one more thing now. I'm just going to drag and duplicate this layer. And I'm going to press Command or Control T to bring up the free transform. And you'll notice that my center target is in the dead center of that circle there, which is fine. So I'm going to hold down my Shift and my Option key. That will be Shift Alt, which will allow me to scale it proportionally to the center here. And I'm just going to scale this whole thing in. And it's going to basically enhance that geometric shape a little bit more giving me that result there. So you can see I can move it around, I can do all kinds of cool things. It gives me a very unique effect. And of course it's on its own layer, so you can just feel free to turn it on or off. And I think I'm going to scale it out just a little bit more, right about there. So it's giving me a really cool kind of spiraling effect there, and all generated from that very simple bridge graphic. Well on this outer piece here, I think I want to mask these areas out here, so I'm going to go ahead and click my layer mask on this outer shape, and let's grab that gradient tool, making sure we're using the foreground to transparent with black set as my foreground color. I'm just going to go in here and just kind of give this a little bit of a mask over here. And I am using the radial gradient, so it gives me a little bit more control over the air. So it's not wiping out most of my image, just getting some areas here. So let's get some of these areas over here just to make it a little bit more interesting. And that's pretty much it. We have created a very interesting background from that very simple piece of that photograph. So just to finish it off, let's go ahead and throw some text in here. We'll call this abstract. And let's go ahead and scale that text up here. And of course it's blue, so we need to fill it with white. So white is set as my background color. So I'm just going to press Command Delete. It'll be Control Backspace. And let's just put it down here. We'll perhaps scale it up a little bit. And to simply change the blend mode to overlay, and there we have it. Really kind of cool design built right from that bridge graphic. We just took a very simple, boring photo and looked at it and said, hey, let's take a part of that and make it a part of a cool design. In fact, we can take that text and probably rotate it on its side, do all kinds of possibilities here. But you see the possibilities here of using a photo. So don't just look at a photo and say, you know, that's a crappy photo, I'm not going to use it. Look at it again. Look at parts of it. Kind of break it down into individual parts. You may notice a part of that image that might be a little bit more appealing as a background graphic or something like that.